Hey everyone, this is Yuning Liu. I am a GIS application specialist at Blue Marble Geographics. Today, I'm going to dive into a new feature in the latest version of Global Mapper, the creation of custom classifications. This tool is a bit advanced and it requires an understanding of the underlying algorithms and it is still in beta. So in this video, I want to walk you through how to use it with real world example from the GIS industry. We will explore how this tool can be applied to real projects using actual point cloud data set. So let's jump right in. If you are a global mapper user, chances are you are already acquainted with or at least aware of our point cloud automatic analysis tool. It is the central hub for point cloud classification, segmentation, extraction in Global Mapper Pro. Our customers often find this tool beneficial as it helps them segment or classify their point cloud data sets and even automatically extract meaningful objects from them. Whether their data comes from like LiDAR scanners or point clouds generated from drone collected images, this tool streamlines the process, making the data sets semantically meaningful. Uh, look at, uh, looking at our point cloud automatic analysis tool dialog here on the right side, we have integrated some built-in algorithms tailored for popular classification in remote sensing, and geospatial analysis, like the ground, noises, and other non-ground classifications. This aligns perfectly with the ASPRS classification scheme, which is American Society for Photogrammetry and Remote Sensing. But here's the kicker. If you are aiming to classify unique class, unique custom feature model uh, that doesn't uh, that is not covered by our built-in tool or the ASPRS scheme, check out this beta option called enable custom feature models. Um, this tool allows global member to define custom classification based on your collected uh, training sample. So it's pretty cool. Um, so in this example, where I have some point cloud data sets loaded into the workspace that represents the bridge structure in Florida. It's a really interesting data set provided by one of our customers, South, uh, Southeastern Surveying and Mapping. As you can see, the point cloud contains a variety of objects that serve as the digital twin of the real world. I can change here to classify LiDAR by RGB and look at my data set in a 3D viewer in more detail. So the ground, like the ground, the sidewalk, bridge itself, and some street lights there, like moving car, some noise in the air, etc. As we have already known, we can utilize our point cloud automatic analysis tool to help identify what classes each point should be automatically for some uh, really common and standard classification like noises, ground, vegetation. So all I have to do is define the resolution and set up the feature model tailored to fit my point cloud and check off whichever built-in classifier I'm going to use. Um, like noise ground at this time, for uh, in this case. And boom, a point cloud classification can be run in the pre-specified order and the new classification result uh, can be stored. So if I change the color LiDAR, uh, change uh, LiDAR to color by classification, I can see the result. But what if I would like to do like all the special custom cost, uh, models to be classified automatically further? Uh, like the pilings, the columns underneath the bridge. So here comes our custom classification option. So first we can check this enable custom uh, feature models beta option here, which will prompt a separate 
windows for collecting user collected training sample to tell Global Mapper what a pillar looks like in this point cloud data sets. Okay, so first, let me first uh, navigate back to the global configuration settings really quickly to set my new LIDAR code for this custom class uh, called piling because it's not uh, defined anywhere uh, before. So it should be under the LIDAR section. And I just pick one random code that is not used, thus reserved by ASPRS currently, like for example, code 30. So I right click to set a new name for this code, code piling. And the set class color more easily uh, distinguish uh, this class like a coral color. Okay, so apply and click OK. When we go back to the classification window, we can then click Add Class here to add piling to the feature model section. So we enter piling here. And so when you start to collect the sample groups of the data for the piling model, the piling option should be in the drop down menu here for you to select. Uh, to more easily grab some groups of points that should be pilings, I have utilized our segmentation tool to separate objects for me to better um, a, uh, to better select clusters of points for training sample data collection. As you can see, if selecting the color lidar by segment, after the parameter showing up here in the segmentation dialog, the individual column has been cleanly uh, separated into smaller individual section. And I can just enable this special digitizer tool selection, uh, digitizer selection tool here called segment select to select all the points with the same segment group shown in the same color. And I'll just tell Global Mapper this sample should be what my custom class piling should look like. And it will generate a signature that is comprised of its characteristics, which will be the basic of the new custom classification model. So this is more advanced characteristic used to generate a custom algorithm tailored to the feature model you collect as training sample data. If you are more interested in how they are measured, we have them all well documented in our knowledge base page here. So please do check it out. So basically they are all configurable too, but uh, right now I will just click the train button here and I'm going to use whatever uh, is populated automatically. So finally, I can run the custom classification tool and you can see a new option called piling now shows up in the classification here. But before I run this, I also would like to check off the advanced tool here called Use Custom Segmentation Parameters so that while running this piling classif classifier, it will use the parameters I set up in the in that uh, segmentation dialog. Uh, so I'm ready to run this new classification tool for piling. Um, you don't necessarily need to check that uh, advanced option really, but in some special cases where this option can help improve the custom classification result, if you have noticed that uh, the ge using the geometric uh, segmentation that result is able to do a really great job for the object you are targeting. Uh, the model you are aiming at, um, like the piling case I'm demoing right now. So that's why I click that uh, app, uh, advanced option. So yeah, after running this uh, tool, almost all the pilings in the point clouds are automatically classified as uh, code 30, which refers, uh, refers to the custom class piling. So to take a look at the result of the custom classification, I'll just change the color LiDAR mode again and the color by classification. So now we have got a really good classification result 
based on the custom classification model from the training sample I collected uh, manually previously. These points are currently stored as code 30, uh, and they, uh, they will be able to be exported easily and shared to others, to share with others, or just can be used for further post-processing in your global mapper program. All right, if you are interested in more fun features in Global Mapper Pro working on point cloud data sets, please do check out our website at bluemarblejewel.com. If you have any question uh, specific to the technical question, please feel free to email us to geohelp at bluemarblejewel.com. Can't wait to catch you in the next video. Take care.